the sky is now terror threats, sparking that worldwide travel alert, making things even busier at the airports. A lot of people on edge right now. 7 Action News reporter Dave Llewellyn joins us live from Detroit Metro Airport. So what's going on there, Dave? Well, Carolyn, from what we've heard from passengers and what I've witnessed inside the McNamara terminal here, it's been a busy day at Metro Airport, but pretty smooth and very safe. The terror alert status is high, and there is a strong and very visible security presence inside the airport. Mobile emergency medics are even on duty. On these peak days like today, we introduce a couple of bike teams into each terminal to patrol the terminal to help out with any of the needs of the passengers and for quick response to any emergency. Also on duty today, greeting passengers, these colorful clowns. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Welcome to the D. Lots of clowns. We're here just to say uh, happy Thanksgiving to everybody and promote the America's Thanksgiving Day Parade downtown Detroit tomorrow. Be a spectacular day and a great time. The delightful surprise could be seen on the faces of Aaliyah and Makai Brown, who flew in with family to spend Thanksgiving with their grandma. I was surprised. I, I thought they're just like coming to just like help and be funny, but no, they're coming for a for us and celebrating. This is so awesome. We love the Thanksgiving holiday and the Thanksgiving parade tomorrow. Awesome. So the clowns here is beautiful for Detroit. And how's this for another nice touch for travelers? Detroit native Keith Ferguson, the self-taught street musician and musical director for the Spinners, entertaining in Concourse A. Just check the terminal uh, board, and uh, there are no delays, uh, no problems with the flights coming in and out of Metro Airport at the moment. The lines at the ticket counters and the kiosks are short. Same with the security checkpoints here at Metro. So while it's been a busy day, it's been smooth, it's been very safe, it's just the way travelers would like to have it. For now, we're live at Metro Airport. Dave Llewellyn, 7 Action News. Carolyn, Glenda, back to you. You're so right about that, Dave. Thank you much.